I'm Dawn, this is Gerby, and you're watching Peoria Dogs. We're gonna be your hosts, so what do you think, Gerby, should we go? Let's get started. Let's go. Not too long ago, I took Gerby and my other dogs to check out Duryea Dog Park. It's a new dog park in Peoria Heights, at the end of East Duryea Avenue, where it meets the Rock Island Trail. The park's on the smaller side at about 600 square feet, but my dogs didn't seem to mind at all and had quite a blast in this space. The park is divided into two sections, one for dogs under 25 pounds and a larger section for dogs over 25 pounds. Each section has a double gated entrance, benches, a poop station with bags, garbage bins, and when the weather warms up, there will be water fountains in each of the sections for the dogs. The park has a white rock surface, which is nice because it doesn't get muddy after rain or snow melting, and that's really helpful. But I've heard some people's dogs don't like it. I don't know, mine didn't seem to mind. Maybe you could bring yours by sometime, and well, when the weather's nice out, and check it out for yourselves and see what you think. So you can't talk about going to the dog park or anything else at this time of year without thinking about the weather. Winter can be rough on our furry friends. Some of them won't even go outside in this weather. But if they're up for it, there are some things you can do to help them out. The most noticeable being a dog coat. Dog coats come in all different sizes, fabrics, and fashion styles to fit your dog and your taste. Along those lines are also dog boots available. Ice, packed snow, and salt are all hard on your dog's paws. Salt can get stuck between the paw pads and be painful for them. Other ice melter formulas can be harmful for your dogs when they lick it off of their paws. If you can get them to wear boots, they can be very helpful. If you can't, however, like Gerby here, Wiping their paws when you get back from a walk with a warm, wet cloth can help you get that stuff off. With or without boots, the cold weather can be hard on your dog's paws, kind of like it is on our skin. There are creams you can buy, I like Musher's Secret, or you can make some of your own with formulas you can find on the internet. If you make your own, though, be sure that it's safe for the dog to ingest because they're probably going to lick some of it off of their paws. If your dogs don't go outside, be sure they get plenty of exercise inside, uh, but be careful if you have a space heater. Some of them can burn your dog or even get knocked over and start a fire. If your dog's pretty well behaved and vaccinated and on a leash, there are some stores and other places that you can take them to get out. If you go to our website, peoriadogs.com forward slash pup friendly places. There's a whole list of a ton of places you can bring your dog. Speaking of getting out, Gerby and I visited Taps in Pekin. That's actually where we adopted Gerby from when she was just a puppy about 10 weeks old. Holly's the director there and she spoke to us about it. Taps is a private no-kill animal shelter who has been in existence since 1958. We um, rescue dogs and cats in need. We take in owner surrenders and we also transfer in from animal controls to prevent um, when they're full with space to prevent euthanasia of animals. And so what that means is we aren't open admission. You can't just walk in an animal here and we'll take it across the counter. Um, we usually operate off of a waiting list because we don't euthanize for space, so we can only call in animals as we adopt them out. And the other thing is, is that we temperament test them on the front end since we don't, since we are a no-kill shelter and so we have to uh, make sure that the animals we take in are adoptable, we screen on the front end. The adoption application process for us normally takes between 24 and 48 hours. It can take a little longer than that depending on the number of applications we have. Um, once you submit an application, there is a process that we do 
with the applications and it, um, it a lot of it depends on the time frame also if the animal that you're interested in is spay and neutered already if they're on medical hold or if they have other applications in front of you because we do process for adult animals the applications in order received we have recently gone to a different process for our puppies and kittens and that is first come first serve with the pre-approved application as a private nonprofit shelter, we have lots of needs. Um, we get no governmental funding, and uh, our expenses, about 19% of, of our expenses are covered by adoption income, and the other 81% has to be raised through community events. So um, through our special events, newsletter appeals, we um, have community-wide events, the Red Give Me Shelter Houses throughout the community. So anytime that you are in an opportunity, have an opportunity to donate to TAPS, either a monetary donation or in-kind donations like food or puppy pads, we always appreciate that. And then we are also always in need of volunteers. But the important thing to remember is sometimes people get frustrated by that process, but there is an orientation to go through, and we only have one volunteer coordinator, and she manages all of the volunteers and the foster program. So sometimes when you call our orientation, is a few months out that doesn't mean that we don't need you it just means that um, we have one person because our we try to minimize expenses we have one person training all of our volunteers all right so if you want to adopt an awesome dog like Gerby here or if you otherwise want to help out or find more about taps you can go to their website tapsshelter.org and um, you can always check out our website, peoriadogs.com, and we have a business listing and a whole page about um, shelters and rescue. So what do you think, Gerby? That was that was more work. Hi, Chunk. That was more work than I expected. So I think Gerby and I are going to take a nap, maybe with Mr. Chunk here, and um, we'll put together another show for you. Uh yeah, so if you would, in the comments, hi, Mr. Junk. Junk's taking over for Gerby. Are you, do you want to be the star of the next show? All right, we'll think about it. So, the next show, let us know in the comments what you want to see in the next show. What you want to learn about in Peoria. Um, any other ideas you have about it, and let us know. And subscribe. If you want to know when we put out the next show, like and um, share this with your friends. And um, oh, we have a Facebook page too, Peoria Dogs. You can go check that out. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to take a nap with Chunk. And then uh, we'll get started on another episode for you. Right, Chunk? Okay, bye. <laughs>